So using interactive animation yeah, for VR and with frames, which gives us a possibility to adjust them a lot more. So let's select the surface. Here we don't have a good one, so we just quickly import one. And of course, we doesn't need to import one if, if we already have a good surface. But here I have a nice little surface to go with. And when we have decided for the surface, then it's time to make a shader. So I just make a simple shader. I think it's good to give it a good name, easy to spot. You could adjust. Now I made it red just to make it super clear that it's connected and I drag and drop it on the surface. And you could tweak all the different settings as you like. We will use the ink and dance. Uh, so here we could use intensity here. So it actually, uh, I think it's better for displays. So you could go for one or even two in intensity. Drag and drop the first frame of many. And when you do that, you could choose the ink and dance uh, channel. You could of course choose bump map or diffuse or whatever. And we would like to edit. So we choose edit material and go for OK. And now we could see it's applied with tree planner. In this case, I go for UV. This is pretty flat. We could have made it with a projection planner projection instead. But I wanted to show that UV is quite useful. So here I just try, try to tweak the, the size of it, how, how much it's spread on the surface. When you click use image sequence, it actually makes a curve for you. And this is the nice feature which gives you an ability to tweak this curve later on. So but right now we have got a curve. Let's make a block from this curve. So by doing that, we could make a clip. So there is, there is this tricky connection here where you have, uh, and here you can see you couldn't really drag and drop that until we have made a block. And the block could be dragged into the clip that I just did. And now it's so easy to tweak inside VDRED the speed of the animation and all kind of different things that you would like to add or redo in the animation you could suddenly do it here instead so going with the frames give you a possibility and look at that just changing the tangent direction of the curve there and you have a quite big difference and in the clip maker you could also flip it and add another one so you kind of kind of reverse the animation and change the length and the speed of this and it's so easy so this is the good part with using frames. And now when we have a nice animation, it's time to connect it to a variant. And the variant is kind of the, the key component to get this easily working with a touch sensor in the next step. So first a variant that kind of turns on and off this animation. We test it and it works. So let's make a touch sensor. And in this case, I'm thinking about using the display itself. So we just drag and drop the geometry of the display in there. So wherever we touch on the display, and of course it could be another surface somewhere in the car. But now we have a touch sensor and it's connected to the variant. So this is really nice. So now we could actually test this in VR. Here we go.